Okay, thanks for checking in. Oh, another low budget review on a product. Yes, I normally don't do these. I mean, I'm a channel I do, but the only reason why I do it is because I watch everybody else. I find that product that I like and I listen to one or two guys. I do my research online to find out who has the least expensive, you know, when I can get it the quickest. But then right before I hit buy now, um, I gotta check out some more videos, right? But unfortunately with this particular product, which is called the Luminox Leatherback Sea Turtle Giant, the model number is 0321.bo for blackout, all right? Um, it's, I believe, $219 retail. Okay, but I got it on eBay, brand new in the box, you see, with all the gear and the stuff for $169, all right? The reason why I purchased this is because I've been rocking the old Apple for a long time, right? You want to talk about loom, and you turn that bad boy sideways, it'll always give you the loom. But I do collect watches, especially the ones with loom. Not gentlemen's watches, but kind of... I don't like the big aviators and all that stuff. You know, I kind of like a little bit of the tactical. You'll see some of the others that I own here shortly because I'm using them for size comparison. And that's the biggest thing, okay? This thing is 45. I believe it's 12.5. It's made out of this black carbon compound, okay? It's, it's like hard plastic, but I'm telling you what, this bad boy is light. Right? I think the biggest thing for Luminox, well, I guess one of the biggest things would be these gas-filled tubes, right? One there, 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 you know, hand and so forth. Um, this little dot here is something called their super, Supernova Technology Glow. Okay, it only lasts for about a half an hour, but the rest of the stuff, last 24 7 for 25 years it's uh trillium i believe okay and it's expensive stuff radiation you won't get it on you but one thing if you're gonna buy a luminox um i thought that you know this thing just blings bright all the time so like when you get out of the pool go to the bathroom right before you turn on the lights to do your business you look at your watch to see how much it glows and you're like man it's just it's faint but i get it okay this glows all the time right and this luminox does not have a lot of the tubes there's others with a ton of them different colors this is probably one of the least luminox watches with the tubes uh hence the price i believe right i mean these things can go all the way up so long story short it's made for your eyes at night in total darkness when you your eyes get adjusted this thing will glow all night now it's not like super vibrant but i'm telling you what you will be able to tell the time at any point in total darkness okay so the, another thing is i got skinny wrists okay this is like the 38 millimeter i believe okay and this isn't really a comparison because it's square right and i've added extra hardware and you know i made a different watch band for it so it probably looks a little bigger than it normally is but i have short, small thin wrists okay so the big problem is when you buy something of a watch online you really never know how it's going to look on your wrist unless you have other watches to do comparisons i guess but even then it can be kind of misleading and then you just end up like once you get it you throw it on your wrist and go hey i really like it or eh, it's bigger or smaller than what i really really wanted so i go from the small gamut now again i collect watches so i'm going to show you a couple um this little guy right here look at this guy yeah you guessed it it's a swatch i collect them but i'm using this as an example this is 34 millimeters so it's small and i don't even know the case diameter but it's got to be like man three or four if there's such a thing okay it's got the lumi dial which i have a lot of these swatches that have a loom 
you know so but <clears throat> just to give you an example on my wrist this is the smallest right respectable but I'm telling you what in person it looks tiny if you've been wearing the bigger watches the ones that are in the 42 43 44 caliber right so again just using this as a comparison all right then you move up the gamut which is the 38 Apple watch I think you've seen that on my wrist already all right okay then the next would be this one. Now this is my showy watch when I go out, dress up nice, my Movado 800 series, probably the most expensive watch that I own, right? It's, I love it, it's great. You know, I'm not gonna go into detail, but again, I'm using the size and I forget the mill, you know, width on this bad boy, but it is 42. And uh, again, let's see if I can do this quick, just to show you what it looks like as a comparison. So again, you know, I'm spending a lot of time on the internet and reading, but you never get that sense of does it fit versus watching, looking at your other watches, I guess, on size. Okay. All right. So that's that one. Now. The one that's closest is my beater watch. I wear this thing all the time. In fact, this is the second band. I've replaced it. I've had this for three years. This thing won't die. It's the Momentum. Ah, Jesus, I forget what it's called. It was at the top of my head, but it's 44. It's like 10.5, all steel, you know, the it's just the loom lasts, I don't know, 35 minutes. But this thing is waterproof as much as a seal's butt. Okay, this thing is very waterproof. I can't kill this thing. I've never had to change the battery. I had it for three years. Right? Steel X? I believe it's called the Momentum Steel X or Steely or something that I don't know, a $100 watch. Band I just got, I don't know, two months ago. It was like, it's pretty cool. It fits nice. It's orange, kind of matches the inside. Yeah, that's red, but but I thought it was fun. So long story short, this is like, if I'm not wearing the Apple, it's the, this is my beater watch in the pool, you name it. But I kind of want to get back to basics, right? Oh, I forgot one other. This is the biggest one. It's the Citizen I think the 500 series or something weird. I mean, this thing is a nice watch. I mean, but it's 48 and this thing is like, this is tall as hell, right? I do wear it. It looks decent on my wrist, but I can tell it's just a little overboard, but my wife got that for me for, you know, not a milestone anniversary gift, but just an anniversary gift. So you can't, you know, throw these away and plus the loom is pretty good like I said about 35 minutes and then lint leaves okay so then we come back here it is okay so 44 I'm gonna try to do this quick um I, I can't even remember if I mentioned but I have a band on order right now like a Lynx you know instead of a rubber band um another band that fits this yeah, off of eBay, I think it was like 32 bucks, but I think it'll make it look a little bit more professional. It might even thin it down the sides because it'll probably bring it in a little bit more, but I'm telling you what, that thing is pretty decent. I like it. My problem is I always have this little extra, right? And I get it caught on everything. So I'm hoping this band that I'm ordering, which is like a lynx bracelet but it's in this polyurethane has a nice clasp you know it's not this particular one but i'm just using that as an example so yeah i'm letting you know again i've had this for a couple weeks and i like it i figured i'd just make a quick review for the guys that are looking for this particular one or possibly luminex in general so yeah other than that thanks for watching I appreciate it. I'm trying to take it off to give you one last view. It's the Luminox Leatherback Sea Turtle Giant.
Thanks for watching.